Breaking news just into our newsroom. Fargo police just released this picture related to the shots fired call we told you about earlier in the newscast. They responded to the 300 block of Robert Street North early this morning. Police say the car they're looking for is a silver or gray sedan with darker colored fenders. Police also say this car appears to have a spare tire for the front passenger side or even both front tires. If you have any information as to who this may be, you're asked to call the number there on your screen right away to leave your tip. There's a new warning from the FDA about some coronavirus vaccines due to a possible side effect. There have now been almost 400 confirmed cases of heart inflammation among people 30 or younger after they received either the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines. Nikki Batiste talks to one family who went through it. When we pulled into the emergency room, I was just praying because he was in such a bad state. Noah Hires went to the hospital just days after his second Pfizer dose. I woke up at 2 a.m. with chest pain. The 16-year-old said symptoms kept coming and going before he was admitted with suspected myocarditis, a type of heart inflammation that a CDC advisory panel linked with COVID vaccines. Tracking more than 1,200 cases, most were linked to Pfizer, occurred after the second dose, and were mainly in males 24 or younger. Symptoms include chest pains, heart palpitations, and shortness of breath. Still, the CDC is urging everyone to get vaccinated because risk from the coronavirus is greater. And as the Delta variant continues to drive cases, kids could be especially susceptible. There is a large group that is still unvaccinated and they are going to continue to be at risk of disease, of severe disease, of getting long COVID and all of those problems that come with it. This experience was much better than getting COVID. Noah was in the hospital for about one day and said he's felt no symptoms since leaving. I would say, please, please, please get the vaccine and, and let's put all this behind us. Noah's mom opted for her younger son, who is 14, to also get the vaccine even after Noah's experience. And again, those heart conditions are rare and if they do occur, are usually temporary and mild. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. Experts are still strongly recommending vaccinations for everyone 12 and up because the complications from COVID can be much more severe. Nearly all COVID deaths in the U.S. are now in people who haven't been vaccinated. Deaths per day are down to less than 300, but health experts say they could be practically zero if everyone eligible got the vaccine. At this point, 63% of all eligible Americans have had at least one dose, 53% are fully vaccinated. An Associated Press analysis of data from May shows that breakthrough infections in fully vaccinated people accounted for fewer than 1,200 of more than 853,000 COVID hospitalizations. That's about 0.1%. A new statue is ruffling some feathers. We'll tell you why coming up on Valley News Live at 4.